we believe that um, all life is sacred, that it begins at conception. And it's those beliefs that made mother and unborn baby care a target for vandals not once but twice. It said if abortion is not safe, Neither are you. You can see the neither is still there. Chairman of the board for the clinic, Mark McGrath, is taking that as a threat from these two women hooded up and armed with spray paint last Friday, hitting their location off Southfield Road near 10 Mile in Southfield. Are you guys going to be doing anything different security wise since this happened? Uh, I'm, you know, we're. We're considering everything right now. We're kind of in a state of shock. For this small group that works and volunteers here, a religious-based pro-life clinic for women, it's put them on high alert. Back in June, after news broke of the Roe v. Wade decision in Washington, D.C., McGrath says they were a target like this for the first time since they opened in 1984. They actually did more damage that time. They broke out all the windows on the ground floor, four, 14 windows. In spite of the vandalism, they're still open, servicing about 200 women a year. Behind similar crimes around the country, a militant extremist abortion rights group known as Jane's Revenge. It's being explored if that group is behind the situation in Southfield. I think these poor women are very misguided and I pray for them. We, we all pray for them. Southfield police are still trying to identify the two women behind this vandalism. If you know anything about this incident or the one back in June, call Southfield police right away. Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.